One of the few bright spots in the darkness for this Golden State Warriors team that finds itself at 19 and 23 has been the evolution of maybe future star Jonathan Kaminga. Averaging over 20 points, over one block, over one steal, and averaging over five rebounds in the last five games, it's clear that he's taken his game to the next level. In this video, we're going to review some of the film that shows why Jonathan Kaminga is a future star, and if you stay till the end, review some of the defensive clips as well that show what Jonathan K Kaminga can potentially evolve into with his time with the Warriors. Alright, so this first clip we have right here, Jonathan Kaminga is going to get the ball kind of in the post area, kind of close to the baseline. He's essentially matched up with a Hawks player that is around similar size, but definitely doesn't have the athleticism that Jonathan Kaminga has. He kind of continues to back him down, and the Hawks don't really realize that Jonathan Kaminga is kind of a focal point of the offense and has the ability to go one-on-one -on -one versus anyone. So you don't see anybody send help. A.J. Green doesn't send help. DeJounte Murray, basically nobody looks in at Jonathan Kaminga, who's able to get to this block area all the way from the three-point line as as he's advancing up the court and using his body. This kind of leads him into the position that he actually wants to get into, which I think he clearly works on this shot from the block where he kind of works on this mid-range fadeaway shot. There's really no help around him, and he's clearly able to elevate over this hand right here, and he's able to get a really good shot over the top, which clearly was exactly what he was looking for right here. And this evolution of Kaminga's game is really important. His ability to score in isolation possession is, is something that the Warriors are really lacking this season. Um, and he's been pretty efficient as of late. This next clip right here, we're going to feature Jonathan Kaminga specifically on the defensive end. In prior years, he's been lost on the ball, and he often doesn't really realize who he's defending or what he should be doing in a specific play. Right here, Kaminga is kind of staring in at the ball at Jalen Johnson. He's like, okay... I'm going to help Corey Joseph out after all. He's pretty small, and he's definitely it's definitely a mismatch for Jalen Johnson on Corey Joseph, so I want to make sure to kind of be aware there's a mismatch in the paint, and I'm going to contest if needed. Right here, as soon as Jalen Johnson turns his back towards him, so Jalen Johnson can't see Kaminga right here, Kaminga kind of takes another step here, and with his long athletic wingspan, he kind of gets in the perfect position to essentially get this ball from behind. He predicted he was going to do that spin around move. And what Jonathan Kaminga does extremely well here is he doesn't foul him. He goes directly for the ball and ends up kind of getting a block or making that shot kind of go a little bit short, which I think is incredible. That's something he definitely didn't showcase last year and is a clear evolution of his game um, from last year to this year specifically. Now let's move on to the next play right here. We're going to see Jonathan Kaminga grab this rebound, the Warriors up to, and let's see what he does. Transition is something that Jonathan Kaminga has definitely improved this year specifically, as he wasn't given the ball that much in transition opportunities last year. You see him right here, right as he's about to cross half court, assess his options. He sees Klay Thompson right here, he sees Corey Joseph right here. He sees the Hawks defenders kind of fanning out to guard both of these players, and then he sees them focusing specifically on Clay Thompson as well as Corey Joseph, which not much attention paid to him. So he's going to dribble into the paint. And what you see here is he gets matched up right here with the Hawks player. But essentially, this is just a static half-court offense set right now. But Jonathan Kaminga utilizes the fact that they aren't playing help defense in this specific clip. And he kind of drives into the paint and is able to finish a tough basket, a tough layup over a smaller defender. And this is what transition creates for Jonathan Kaminga. It creates possessions where he's on a smaller defender, and now he's actually able to utilize that mismatch into the paint and score the ball. And in this specific game, he utilized that quite a lot of times. As we move on to the next clip, Jonathan Kaminga is going to have the ball kind of at the wing position, and he's the Hawks are clearly kind of trying to play a zone, it seems like, with two down low and then three up high. Obviously, we have Klay Thompson being followed um, by the Hawks defender, but I think the key here is just to make sure that they don't get any easy buckets in the paint and make sure that, you know, the Warriors are kept in check in the paint because, after all, Jonathan Kaminga has been scoring a lot in the painted area. So what you see here is Jalen Johnson is going to kind of try and prevent Jonathan Kaminga from getting into that painted area and force him to the middle. It feels like he's kind of blocking him from going on the outside around this way. Nope, he doesn't want him to do that. He instead wants him to go middle. And so forcing Kaminga middle, it allows Patty Mills to help out here. He's he's kind of digging in, 
trying to make sure that he can still, you know, threaten a Corey Joseph potential three-point shot, but also make sure that he can be in Kaminga's mind and make him aware that, hey, I'm here and I'm going to stop you from driving if you happen to, like, do a spin move. So what happens is Jonathan Kaminga does this huge up fake, that, like, huge motion, tries to take the ball up, and he's made this shot a couple of times already in this game, and I think this is really great setup by Jonathan Kaminga throughout the game, something he's definitely doing more now as he gets more shot attempts. Um, he sets up this by making that earlier kind of fadeaway two-point shot that I showed you earlier, but now he brings the ball up in this huge up fake, and Jalen Johnson, he gets him to really jump, and he does this creative step-through move where, I mean, nobody can really contest this. Patty Mills ominously almost fouls him, and maybe if he was a bigger name player, he might have even got the call, honestly, because, I mean, you see right here, Patty Mills is just kind of like right where he was going to land, kind of blocking his landing area, which is definitely not legal, but... Anyways, he's able to make the quick and easy basket, and that's what Kaminga's added to his game this year specifically, as he's gotten more minutes and more shots. He's able to make moves in the first quarter that set up his moves in the third quarter, and that's exactly what he did there. In this next clip right here, we see Jonathan Kaminga once again on Jalen Johnson, and now he's going to get switched. And then this in the switching mismatch, this... He has Jalen Johnson off of him, which is probably the best defender for guarding Jonathan Kaminga that the Hawks have. Patty Mills isn't going to work. You know, DeJounte Murray is not that great of a defender. Bogdanovich, not that great. Um, but in this matchup specifically, he's on a smaller player. And that makes it so that Kaminga is able to use his advantages to his advantage, his height, his athleticism. And that's what he's going to do right here. What you see is this Hawks player is putting his hand in the cookie jar, essentially, and kind of tries and f to ripped the ball away from Jonathan Kaminga, but kind of fails at that process and ends up kind of fouling Jonathan Kaminga. And this shows the evolution of Kaminga's intelligence. He realizes when he's on a mismatch, when that mismatch guy is being pressured and has to feel like they make a play, and he knows that he's going to try to reach, try to grab for the ball, so he gives him the space to reach, but then tries to do that rip-through move and make sure that he gets a foul. And that's definitely evolution in Jonathan Kaminga's game, and he ends up completing the play as well and getting the and one. Now this play really highlights Jonathan Kaminga's new newfound intelligence in working with the Warrior system. This is probably one of the more complicated systems in the NBA. And what you see right here is Steph Curry's yelling at Jonathan Kaminga, kind of pointing right here, hey, cut, cut into the paint, cut behind Jalen Johnson, because Jalen Johnson's looking directly at Steph Curry. Okongwu is looking directly at Steph Curry. AJ, Green is looking at, AJ Griffin's looking directly at Steph Curry. Steph Curry has so much gravity on the floor that he knows that maybe Kaminga can get a step on Jalen Johnson if he's able to kind of cut. Now, Jalen Johnson does a great job here. He actually looks at Kaminga immediately after he realized A.J. Griffin is going to close out on Steph Curry. He's like, okay, I need to guard Kaminga. But Kaminga is super athletic and has a super long wingspan. So Steph is able to thread this pass. And this is actually an incredible pass. A Kongwu kind of had a chance at it. A.J. Griffin kind of had a chance of it. And Jalen Johnson, I mean, he's a really long defender. He definitely has a chance of it. But Steph Curry is able to kind of push this one-handed pass right through the center of the defense and get it to an area where only Jonathan Kaminga can get it in that area, like right over here, essentially. And that allows for Jonathan Kaminga to basically have Jalen Johnson behind him and the basket in front of him and Jonathan Kaminga has amazing hops and it's gonna be really tough for Jalen Johnson to block that shot without getting a wind up into the jump so he's kind of easily able to make this reverse layup it's a little bit of a tougher shot than you think after all he's going full speed in that direction but he's able to make kind of this incredible you know shot because of Steph Curry's incredible pass and because of the fact that he realized what the position he was in and that he could get open by cutting and using Steph Curry's gravity to his advantage. Okay, and here's the last clip that really features Jonathan Kaminga's evolution on defense. So we're at the end of the third quarter. This is definitely a time where the Warriors don't want to give up the lead. They've been probably one of the worst teams in the league in terms of finishing up quarters, finishing up halves. And so what you see right here is you have Jalen Johnson passing it. And Jonathan Kaminga is immediately going to realize, okay, this set right here is meant for Jalen Johnson to get the ball back. And so he immediately tries to step in front of Jalen Johnson and tips the ball towards Brandon Pajemski. And then he's kind of able to, right here, he's dribbling, he's dribbling. He's kind of losing the ball right here. And the Hawks player honestly kind of fouls him right here. Um, he's, I mean, he's clearly kind of like pushing him a little bit towards the angle. But Klay Thompson here is like wide open. 
But in pa- years past, I feel like Jonathan Kaminga wouldn't have realized, okay, hey, I got to pass it to Clay Thompson. Instead, he would have probably tried to go up with it, maybe got the foul, maybe not, but it wouldn't have been in 100% two points. But right here, he makes a smart pass to Clay Thompson, and that's an easy two points. And that's something that Jonathan Kaminga has not done in the past. So clearly throughout this film review, you can see that Jonathan Kaminga has leveled up this year. He's leveled up in terms of his paint scoring, he's leveled up in terms of his defense, and he's definitely leveled up in terms of his intelligence. If you guys would like to see more Jonathan Kaminga videos, please like, comment, and subscribe below and tell us what you think about Jonathan Kaminga and is he the future star of the Warriors after maybe Steph Curry retires.